Hello, today we'll be going over Newspaper Archive. Now this one is a fairly new database that has been added either last week or the week before. I'm not sure which one. I've been going through these for the most part alphabetically, so yeah. Right here, a little explanation or intro of what it is. Newspaper archives is the world's best resource for historical and genealogy information. Our unique archive spans more than 400 years of family history, small town events, world news, and more. So, it a bit of everything from all of the United States. You can see on the right hand side that they have from other countries as well. So if you're not from here, like we get plenty of foreign exchange students, you you want to know what's happening on your home country, you can find your local newspaper or a newspaper close to your hometown that you would might get a newspaper subscription from. Browse available papers or browse by location of map so if you don't know of a name search or a keyword to type in you can go directly to the state that you want to look at to so since we're in Kansas we'll do Kansas now again it also asks if you want to search research your ancestry family tree and such you can Put in names or keywords to search all the Kansas newspapers. And you scroll down. The bottom here will give you all the listings for historical newspapers by city in Kansas. You can also change which place it is to in these little search boxes and press go and then it shows genealogy research at the bottom so it's explaining more in detail that this can be more for if you're really into genealogy or just family research of something like your own or someone else's this is your website to do it. So for the most part, oh, you can zoom in and out on the little map, but I didn't mean to do that just yet. <laughs> so if you're doing a research paper on a family, let's say like the Benders is still kind of a big family mystery within the south east part of Kansas since they do not have Parsons on here we can go to the closest one which if we zoom in and go all the way to the right either have Baxter Springs or Chinook that we can look at their newspapers that they have. Oh, well, let's do Chanute. Let's scroll back down. They only have two. Both well before 2000, so they don't have any... So they're not going to show any current newspaper articles that they have. But it's still interesting nonetheless to see what they have. So uh, let's do Shinu Tribune. And I'll bring up the years. So you can search by year first. We'll click on the latest one. And then it gives you every single 
that the newspaper has been published. So we can select a random one in July the 17th, 1974. And for the most part, it'll come up looking like microfilm or microfish. For those who are younger and don't know what those are, those were back issues of newspapers that have been put on a very thin film-like material like what old cameras used to bend to take pictures with. But you would put it on a machine that would shine light through it and bring it up on a monitor for you to be able to see it to be like printed off or jot down notes if you were doing gene genealogy or some sort of research that way. But this way it just makes it easier and more modern, should say, with kind of like being a microfilm. You can change pages, so you can go to the next page at the top, in your little toolbar, exit full screen, save, share, print, disk queue, not sure, crop, brighten, or brighten, Go away, whatever you are. Or darken it. Zoom in, zoom out. First page, previous page, page numbers, and so on and so forth. Now you can scroll down and be able to see the entire bit of the first page of the Chinute Tribune. Honestly, it's quite cool. You get off that. Thank you. Well, it's pretty cool seeing a newspaper from the past. This is what some libraries do. They save their back newspapers and if they want it to be put on the microfilm, they send it out to someone to be able to do that. But instead of that, it's like pretty much copy, scanning that page and uploading it instead. That would be my, um, best way to describe how to preserve, um, History. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted with my computer saying things. Oh, I hope that did not show up. Because if it did, I'm going to have to redo this over again. Yay! Anyways, page two. U.S. Soviet spark to on Coop of Cyprus. Hmm. So, next page of the paper. Still pretty interesting. At the bottom right, you can share the page. And it'll tell you you're currently using page two from Trinity Tribune and the date. And then go back here. So you and you also don't necessarily have to log in to be able to search through here because we Lebec Community College is already providing this for you. So we're going to go to keywords and we'll type in the binders. <coughs> Excuse me. I am sorry about that. Now, on the right hand side, we can narrow our locations. So, for the most part, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I really want just articles from the US. Nowhere else. And then it'll give me within the country and narrowing the dates more. So, let's see. Show me more. Because we 
want Kansas because it is most definitely in Kansas. There we go. And then it'll give more and still narrowing by dates, which I don't really want to do without confusing myself at this time. So, as you can see, main right here, it'll go ahead and give you like a little image of the page, which um, newspaper it is from, and underneath it, city, the date, state, year, country, decade. And then have a little description of what the article is about, which of course is all going to be about the benders. So we can go ahead and click on the Chinute Tribune again. And on the left hand side, it gives the article about the bloody benders. But since this was like years after they fled, but still a lot of major history about them. And go back and find a better one. Do, 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 do. Let me see here. Well, let's look at this one. As I was saying, I later didn't find anything that was relevant. But that's okay, because there's already an article right here. Eleven disappear on visits to the benders. So even if it doesn't show up, it'll still bring you to the page said article you're looking for. At least as far as I can see. So I'm pretty sure that's as much as I've been able to find or understand with playing around with this one. We'll have to do it a little bit more later. Might upload a better video. But that will be all for now.